In this video, we are going to solve second part of question number six. We have to name the type of quadrilateral form, if any, by the following points, and you have to give reasons for your answer. Okay. Now, I have already discussed in the first part that how you can learn the properties of four quadrilateral, four type of quadrilateral, which are important according to this chapter. Now if I consider these four points as A, B, C, D and if I join all four points A, B, C and D Now to confirm which type of quadrilateral is this you have to find the length of all four sides plus the length of diagonal Okay, now let's find First of all let's find the length of the first side which is A, B now I have to find the distance between these two points and the formula will remain the same which is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so this is the formula which we use in coordinate geometry now here the distance between AB will be now for AB consider these two points as x1 by 1 and these two points as x2 by 2 so r by x2 is 3 so it should be 3 minus x1 and r x1 is minus 3 so it should be squared and in second case it should be 1 minus 5 whole square now for the solving this this will be 3 so it should be minus minus is plus so it should be plus 3 and it should be minus 4 ok now for the solving this I hope you got this plus minus is minus 5 minus 1 is 4 but the sign will be negative because greater value has negative sign now 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 square is 36 and 4 square is 16 with positive sign because the power is even and whenever the power is even, sign gets changed. So 16, uh, 36 plus 16 will be 52 units. So it should be root 52 units. Now let's find the distance between the other signs. Let's say BC. For these two points, consider these two points as x1 by 1 and these two as x2 by 2. So uh, the formula will be x2 minus x1 and plus y2 minus y1. Now for the solving this, it should be 0 uh, minus 3 is minus 3, minus 3 squared plus plus minus is minus, so 3 minus 1 is 2. Now for the solving this, minus 3 square is 9 and 2 square is 4 so it should be 13 units now let's find the <coughs> distance between CD now this distance between CD is now for these two points consider these two as x1 y1 and these two as x2 y2 and use the same formula to find out the distance Our x2 is minus 1 and our x1 is 0 so it should be minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 0 plus our y2 is minus 4 and our y1 is 3 so it should be minus 1 square plus minus minus is plus so 4 plus 3 is 7 and greater value is 4 so sign will be of 4 so 1 square is 1, 7 square is 49 and it should be 50 units. Well, till now, one thing is important, one thing is clear that neither, none of the sides are equal. So, I don't have to find out the length of my four sides because from till here I can confirm that neither, none of the sides are equal. That means this is a normal quadrilateral having four sides. 
okay so this is how you can solve this particular one in the next video we will solve the last part of the same question thank you